Hi, my name is Leslie Weibel, and I just want to thank you for the opportunity to send in a video interview. So, when I was a kid, I wanted to grow up and be just like my mom. Uh, when we were younger, she went back to school to get her doctorate after being a high school chemistry teacher for about 20 years. And so she was doing her normal job as a teacher, her job as a mom, seeing us do all of our different sports and musicals and just all the clubs we were in, and then doing school to pursue something that she really loved in life. And she became a doctor after giving her dissertation. And now she works here at Central Michigan. And I just think it's really inspiring because it's something she worked so hard for. And it showed me that if you want something, that you can go and get it no matter what you're doing at the moment. You're never stuck in one spot. Oh. In one of my internships, I found it hard to work with a man who is a supervisor uh, for what I was doing at the moment. And I dealt with this in the most polite way I could because I wasn't sure how to address what I felt I needed as a support for what they were having me do because I was just getting into the professional environment and I wasn't sure what they were looking for in some of the projects they had me uh, working on. So I dealt with it by still being polite and professional as you would and then I would just do what I could to the best of my ability and then check in like once a week or once every other week just to be like am I on the right track can you tell me what I'm doing is acceptable for what you want the end product to be or if I need to change something so that I can keep ahead of it and get this done on time. And even though it wasn't the most quick responses, it really helped me get what I needed to get done in the most efficient way. And it actually taught me to be a little more independent in my projects that I'm given in any work environment. Uh, three of the most important things in a work environment, actually for me, are it being welcoming because I like feeling that I can ask a question without being a nuisance or without feeling like I will get in trouble for not knowing what we're doing. I like to be comfortable with knowing my limitations and working towards becoming better with them and just feeling that my uh, input is valued no matter what I'm, what I'm uh, working with at the moment. I also value a creative work environment and just more open because I like the thought of being able to incorporate outside interests into what we're doing as long as they apply. For example, I really enjoy being able to use my minor in fashion design as a stepping stone in a project to someday whenever I'm working somewhere full time or just being able to link some of the things that I love being able to do to what I'm hoping to love to be able to do. And then my third, the third thing that I value in a work environment is 
a stimulating and challenging atmosphere because being able to do a few different tasks allows you to think through different problems for say one problem while doing another because it gives you a brain break and just lets you look at a problem from a different perspective and just gives you some time to figure out the best possible way to go at a problem without being frustrated and upset with not getting the answer immediately. I used logic to solve problems in my last internship whenever I was given a matrix to create and revamp, but very limited information to go off of from my previous experience. So I had to use logic to figure out what the best way to organize people were based on what they were employed to do at that moment while still incorporating and showing that they have training in different fields of the manufacturing environment I was in and to just organize and create something that they could use later on in the company mm -hmm. even after I was gone. It just showed me that you have to figure out the best possible way to go about something to make it efficient and easy to work with. The first thing that I designed as an engineering student would have to be the cardboard boat that everyone in the Introduction to Engineering fall course in Central has to build. We take the first week before homecoming and you build a cardboard boat out of cardboard, duct tape, and liquid nails under a specific budget. And you have to make the boat that will support at least three of the members from your team of four or five. And then they have to make it across two ponds that we have outside of our student activity center. There were some snags in the designing of that boat because we meant to have three in it, but it ended up having to be four. But we did make it across, so I feel like it's a successful design. And it was a great way to incorporate teamwork in the creation of a product. The first designing I actually did though, like as a person, was when I was really little, I would want to make things for myself and my dolls to just dress the same, make it so we could play, dress up. It was something I really enjoyed uh, being in 4-H and just in the way my family interacted. It was a great creative outlet as a child. I want to thank you again for letting me turn in a video interview, and I hope to hear back from you soon. Thank you.